Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in a festive holiday collaboration called the Holly Jolly Christmas Collab and I am so honored to be a part of it. And for my festive video, I thought it would be fun to do a Christmas tree tour. So what I'm going to do is walk you through all of the ornaments on my Christmas tree because we have ornaments that mean a lot of different things to us. We get gifted ornaments from my husband's family every year and they all have significance. So I thought it would be fun to kind of walk you through. We don't have that many, but what the ones we do have are very significant to us. So, welcome to the Holly Jolly Christmas Collab, Diva and the Divines Christmas Tree Tour. Yes, the Christmas tree that you just saw in the little introduction did have colored lights on it. We actually have a tree that does both kinds of lights. So I can't reach all the way up to the top, but up there on the right, you probably see a little chocolate truffle. I love me some chocolate, so that's why that is up there. We do have some generic balls like that one or the, this goofy icicle looking one as filler, but we want to talk about the fun and important ornaments. This is an Angry Birds Christmas ornament. My husband and I went through a big Angry Birds phase when we were dating, so we have a lot of Angry Birds memorabilia. Moving on down, we have one that says St. Thomas Virgin Islands. I believe this one is mine. I don't actually know, but I think it's mine from when we were on a cruise. This is one of three little choir angels that were have been on my Christmas tree for pretty much my entire life. This one was made for me in 1992 by R.F., which is Ruth Fisher, which is my great-grandmother on my dad's side, uh, my grandmother's mom, and um, it's beautiful. Both she and my grandmother were really into ceramics, so this little choir girl is my favorite one of the three I have because I am, in fact, a choir girl. <laughs> so, moving on, we have this one that was made for my husband um, by my mother-in-law, or she ordered it because he ran his first marathon in 2017. So it was a mem marathon memorabilia piece. And then we have Horton from Horton Hears a Who. And while that doesn't seem like he would be very significant, he is to me because all throughout college, I was in the show Seussical like five billion times. And that might only be a slight exaggeration. We did the show every year for a specific event at my college. So I know and love Seussical very well. And Horton is, of course, one of the heroes of Seussical. And here is little angel number two that I believe these are all made by my great-grandmother. Yes. That's my name on it too. I believe we only took the ones from my parents' house that are mine. Bear with me while I keep this thing focusing. This is a glittery UNC Carolina's hoodie from when we lived in North Carolina and my husband attended UNC as a business student. This little ball is from Bronner's, and it's not a little ball, it's a big ball. But this is from Bronner's, and uh, Bronner's is where my husband's grandmother gets a lot of her ornament gifts for us. And this actually talks, there's a, it's a horrible reflection, I'm sorry. Ta it talks about the customs of Norway, the, Christ the Christmas customs of Norway, because my family, and my husband's family is Norwegian. Up there we have a cute little penguin who holds a lyre and I have things with lyres on them because I am a member of Alpha Chi Omega Sorority and that is our logo, the lyre. And then here is the third little angel. She's playing a guitar type thing and I can't think of the proper word for it right now. But there's that little angel there. I have a really pretty glass makeup ornament. If you guys have seen my makeup collection, you understand why I have said glass ornament. And then down here we have a 2017 ornament that my mother-in-law ordered for us. It's got my husband at the marathon, Gracie under the tree, and then our family portrait for the year. This is obviously a gym shoe. It's a very fancy gym shoe from Bronner's and it says runner on the bottom and it was another commemorative ornament that my husband got for completing the marathon last year. And then I have this one here. This one says for you lovely granddaughter handmade and on the back it says to Brianna from Grandma Voss in 1987. So I was one year old when my grandmother who passed away in 2010 um, made 
made this for me. I'm not sure how many of these actually made it onto the tree, but another theme you just might see is Wizard of Oz, because you guys know I love me some Alphaba and Wicked Witch of the West, and because of that, I have several Wicked Witch of the West related ornaments. Going through, going through. This beauty is my chocolate queen. Isn't she cute? My grandma got her for me. She's holding a chocolate truffle scepter and a box of chocolates and everything about her is chocolatey and she's so stinking cute. And then down here we have Mr. Holly Jolly Christmas himself, the Burl Ives Snowman, as on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the classic movie, which if you guys have been following me on Vlogmas, you know that is my favorite Christmas movie. Um, or one of my top favorite Christmas movies. This is another Wizard of Oz ornament. Let me see if she works. I don't know if she does. She's, the yellow brick bro likes up, but look at this detail. The backside is black and white, just like in the movie. How cool is that? I'm pretty sure most of the Wizard of Oz ornaments I have is from my grandfather. I have. It's gonna keep playing. I have a cup of coffee because if y'all know me, this one is from Eric's grandmother. It says, without music, life would be flat. Ha ha ha. I have a treble clef sign, which I'm pretty sure I got from a student back when I was teaching. Up here we have Rudolph with my name on it because I love Rudolph and it's also a rare occasion when I find things with my name on it. This one is from Bronner's, a custom made one says, Our First Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Ingebrets in 2014. Really cute, love the red glitter. My goodness. And then I got this engaged in 2013 ornament, so we have one for our engagement and one for our first Christmas as a married couple. This is Gracie last year because apparently Gracie is so special she gets her own ornament. And then we have last year's picture of Miss Alice with Santa Claus in a cute little frame. I'm moving our way down here. I'm officially on the floor. That's how much I love you guys. And Gracie's about to lose her mind because I'm on the floor. What's this little ball back here? Oh, so this, never mind the mess in the background, but this is actually something that we got at church on Thanksgiving and everybody, I didn't actually get to participate, that's why there's only one piece of paper in it, but what it is is because I was on stage singing, I didn't get to do it, but my husband did. Everybody, every family got one of these ball ornaments and a piece of paper and they had to write something that they were truly thankful to God for in it, or on the paper, and then put it in the ball. And then every year we can add to that so we'll have an ornament full of our blessings. This is a theater ball from Bronner's, presumably. We have a little pewter nativity scene. This is just a fun little snowman. There's no label or anything on him. So I probably inherited this guy from somewhere. I'm not sure where. This is a beautiful, beautiful wedding ornament. The reason it's hiding so far down is A, because if it falls, it doesn't have a very long way to go, but B, it actually says 2013. Somebody got it on clearance for us, so it has the wrong year written on it. Um, so we just have it kind of hiding in the back here. This ornament is supposed to be me. Let's see what it says. Great Grandma Ruth, Brianna, 1988. So I was two when I got that ornament. What else is down here? Nothing, oh look, there's a cute Yorkie down here. What are you doing? You helping me film? We got little stockings on the tree. I didn't put those there. This ornament is a beautiful glass ornament from Bronner's, I believe. It is supposed to be, it's a yellow lab. It's supposed to be my dog, Bailey, who you guys didn't know and even Eric didn't know her, but she was my favorite dog. Oh my gosh, she was wonderful. So when she passed away, or maybe before she passed away, I might've gotten this before she even passed away, but this is my Bailey ornament and I wanna find a pretty glass one like this that I can have for Gracie as well. I haven't found one yet though. We've got a Mickey and Minnie bride and groom. Told you there'd be a lot of Wizard of Oz. We have Dorothy's ruby slippers. And then we have this slipper, which is actually my first Christmas Christmas ornament. I think it was made for me. I'm not entirely sure though, but this thing is as old as I am. Crazy. 
What other special ones do we have around here, Gracie? I have one that says, gotta dance. What? What? <laughs> have this pretty dove. I think I inherited this from my parents. I don't know if it has any significance, but I do believe that we, my family tree has had several of these. So as we've broken off, we've gotten, each gotten one for our own Christmas tree. I could be wrong. This swirl is just something really pretty. This zebra, believe it or not, does have significance because in my Alpha Chi Omega sorority, everybody is broken down into families. And my line of families, we were the jungle themed family, we were the jungle family, and then my specific line was the zebra family. Yes, I know zebras are not in jungles, they're in like safaris, but we just went with like exotic animals. So throughout college, I got a lot of zebra themed things and this ornament stuck with me because why not? Reminds me of the good old college days. This ornament is an Erin Condren asterisk, which I can never, is a word I can never say, but it's actually like an official Erin Condren one that I got from going to the, uh, the event back in early, de early December? November, November, back in November. This one is from Eric's grandmother to me, a Bronner's, a Bronner's ornament crazy for coffee. It's like she knows me. How cute is this? Coffee is my blood type. Coffee can fix anything. So cute. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, here's another engagement ornament. And this one, as you, if you can see, this one was from a student. It says Eric and she actually spelled Eric's name wrong, but I was able to fix it with a pen uh, or a permanent marker because his name is spelled with a K, not with a C, but this was from, from one of my favorite students when I was in North Carolina. And I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but let's be honest, teachers, we all do. This is actually from just from Target. It came in one of the little tubes of balls. This one is Eric's. It is the Florida Panthers ornament. The Florida Panthers are his favorite hockey team and the reason I'm subjected to hockey all the time. They are not doing well this year. Look, I told you Alpha Bo would be back. This is technically not Alpha Bud, it's the Wicked Witch of the West, but in my mind they are one and the same. Then we have this ornament, which I think was given to me before we were even engaged. Yeah, Eric and Brianna, 2012. We didn't get engaged until 2013. So that was our first official photo shoot together, was what that picture was from. And it's one of my favorite, favorite photo shoots to this day. And then we got this little Viking. I honestly don't remember where we got this Viking guy. I think it was from his grandmother. What do you think, Gracie? What do you think of the little Viking? Thankfully, this little one has not figured out that she can probably take ornaments off the tree, have you? You have not figured that out yet. No, you have not. I don't know what this is. Monticello? This must be Eric's ornament. <laughs> Gracie can't decide what to do. And then this ornament technically has like a whole fun I'm melting, I'm melting scene. Like if you click the button, she goes down and does the whole thing, but we don't have it plugged in to do something um, because we can't get it to work right. This joint isn't working with the uh, Christmas tree that we have. So she's supposed to do something really, really cool, but she doesn't. And by she, I mean the entire thing. And then we're coming to the end, guys. We're coming to the end. I'm ignoring all the little balls because they're just from Target. I got this one last year. I love my Yorkie Gracie. I think that's a decently accurate representation of her. What'd you think? I think so. Her hair was a little bit longer. And then we're coming down to the last two, I think. We got this guy, which is just another one I inherited from my parents' house. It's a little ceramic mouse sleeping on top of a package. And then this, was actually an ornament that my aunt's best friend Eileen made and she's basically she's been around my entire life she's basically another aunt to us and uh, she gets us little Christmas presents every year and it's gorgeous and I can't even or I think she made it she might have purchased it but I would not put it past her to have made this because she is the most artistic and crafty person I know and the things that she can make and the visions she can make come alive are absolutely magnificent she made that for us and I think, guys, I think that's it. That's my entire Christmas tree. So as I said, we don't have much, but it's full of a lot of memories and a lot of fun ornaments that were gifted to us. 
specifically for a purpose, which is really, really nice. So thank you guys for taking the time to tune in, and I hope you enjoyed this little festive tour of my Christmas tree. Admittedly, this is the most Christmassy video I have put up all of Vlogmas, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go to the links down below in my info box. I have every other lady that participated in this Holly Jolly Christmas collab listed down below, and their videos could be anything Christmas related. So not everyone's gonna have a Christmas tree tour. Some people might have recipes or fashion or hauls or tips or tricks weight loss related not weight loss related the only way you will find out is if you go over to their channels and take a look so thank you guys for tuning in make sure you check those ladies out Merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video take care